Hello everyone, welcome to the new sub-series, Spur of the Moment, where I make things, get this, in the spur of the moment. You're currently looking at a mason jar and a bottle of Everclear, something that for many of you probably doesn't bring up fond memories. No worries, because we'll be using them for making our own double pepper extract today using these, crushed red pepper and black peppercorns. Now, while I take these away and get the rest of our supplies ready, allow me to explain why we're doing this and how we'll do it. I'm cleaning up my apartment for an upcoming move and I found an old recipe notebook that I thought I lost ages ago. In it is one of my first ever written cocktail recipes and I think it's salvageable but it uses straight up ground pepper in what it is one of its ingredients and just uh. <laughs> it's not a terrible idea but it is inefficient so I'm making a concentrate by infusing our peppers into some Everclear to make a flavor extract. Now, I'm a bit of a there's no readily available alternative for this available for sale on the regular market, so let me see if I can even do this without killing myself accidentally kind of person. And this led me down a bit of a chemistry rabbit hole. The ultimate conclusion is yes, but only to a degree. The active ingredient in black peppercorns is piperine, and that looks like this. The active ingredient in crushed red pepper is capsaicin, and that looks like this. Both of these things are common food ingredients and are totally safe to eat in the amounts they traditionally are used for in that context. However, both can cause various health issues when eaten in too high a concentration. Piperine is contraindicated in the use of anticoagulants, meaning that it can make you bleed really bad in very high quantities. Capsaicin, aside from making things inedible if they're too spicy, can cause nausea, vomiting, and stomach ulcers if you consume too much. The only reason I was concerned about this was because extracts made with alcohol will concentrate these materials into a very small amount of liquid, and that can be dangerous if done wrong. I, I was I was I was I was a fool to be to be so panicked. 100 grams of black peppercorn contains 5 milligrams of piperine, about 25% of the maximum safe dose. How much is 100 grams of peppercorns, you may ask? A full cup, i.e. way more than we would ever need for a solution with this little base. <laughs> the same thing goes for capsaicin, there's simply too little in the amount of red pepper we're using to make this extract to be of any concern to us. Now, with the scientific tangent out of the way, let's make some fucking extract. Into a reasonably sized mason jar, I'm going to combine half a cup of whole black peppercorns and an eighth a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. They may seem like not a lot of red pepper, and it isn't, but it's more than enough. This stuff is very potent, especially when it's dried like this. To that, I'm going to add 250 milliliters of Everclear. The state of Michigan limits the maximum strength of any spirit to 151 proof or 75.5% alcohol by volume, so that's what I'm using. I'm using this rather than a base spirit like vodka because the higher alcohol alcohol content will infuse flavors faster and with a greater potency, meaning I can use less of it in a cocktail to achieve the same overall flavor profile. With everything combined, I'll screw the cap on and set the timer. This particular infusion is using spirit that is twice the strength I would normally be interacting with and with a much different base to ingredients ratio, so I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes and test it after that. 30 minutes later, I come back to my infusion and give it a shake. Clearly the alcohol has done a good job stripping color out of the peppercorn, so let's see how well it's done with the flavor. Just gonna crack this open, uh, grab a grab a bar spoon, and pull a little out for myself. Oh, okay, okay, okay it's pretty good. It's not. <coughs> what is it, Peterson? I'm not sure. I feel a disturbance. Okay, admittedly it was a dumb idea to taste an extract all by itself and it doesn't help that it went down the wrong pipe here, but it's exactly what I need so I'm gonna stop the infusion here. I'm gonna put this into a mesh strainer and place it in a freshly cleaned bottle and call it a day. I'm gonna filter this through some coffee papers to catch the finer bits of particulate you see floating in it, but aside from that, our extract is complete. I can't wait to experiment with it in drinks and I hope you have a mind to do so as well. Uh, just don't take it to the face like I did unless you want to see God. 